Hello viewers, this is Luke. Um, as you can see, it's my army, it's their army, and it's Lord of the Rings Ring Killing Zone. They saw it after the films, the later films. Um, yeah, we basically just got to take over the world. I'm Gondor at the minute, part of the Rohan, so probably won't take over their world. But, um, the sort of story is, Rohan, uh, Gondor's sort of taken over Mordor. Civil War in between Mordor and Gondor. Then you have the Rock, Rohan, Mord, I don't know how to say it. And it's, yeah, it's basically what it is. We just fight each other. Because I've got my archers. Yeah, we've still got two nice bizarre archers. And we're off to the next phase. And, um, basically, I'm just trying to defend my. See, this is what happens when you run. <laughs> you get attacked. Right, so they've run at my troops and they've seen my launch and they've run them down at the top to stop. They've started running away. Well done, you. They're getting shot. The only way of doing it is just putting them on your marches and going back to the wall. And they're starting to battle them. They as well, the best off target and the best troops with the archers or the horses. I think that was a problem with the original game, not just this game. So these guys are hidden. Let's charge the Don't run. Don't run. Yeah, it's not easy to get them to do what you say. Well, these guys are about to be done. Basically what's happening here is this is my way from the front line. They're putting pirates behind. going quite well for me. I have a small army down there. These guys have just got to use as little as possible. This is the only people I can actually train out here. I'll be doing a dame pinning with what look like sticks. Yeah, they're sticks. So if I, so after a while I think I will lose this as they're just bringing in the main army. I would lose the war, but um, I do have to hold on. the loading screen and then it goes on to the campaign map as you can see this is where they're attacking this city and the blacks I think they want four of them but that's not very well but they don't have a choice yeah this is the campaign map basically um, we've got our moth being sieged by a boat at the minute uh, standing Aye, this guy come to me It's going reasonably well. I have my army here. Captain. I'm not at war with these. 
No, I am at war because they just attacked me. But um, Attack! I'm trying to get down here because what keeps happening is they send in their Numa Keel, which y those of you who haven't seen the film are big elephant arseholes, and they kill my troops. Uh, here, these guys keep coming under attack. Fair enough, seeing as they're on the borderline. Wait, where's my... Oh, shit. Okay. Was that yeah. Um, yeah, this is the map. This is all my territory. I start off with quite a lot of little places in the middle of nowhere. Um, ooh, this is... This is where they keep attacking from. They come across here with their boats. Probably know what I am. And uh, they attack me with their sword. Yeah, they still have their... Their army survived only on boats. Fleet ready. So, I can't really do anything. You seem to get a lot more money on this game, which I much prefer from the uh, old World Turtle Wars. You always found yourself in the middle of nowhere and then you ran out of money. So I was never very good at the game. They group spearmen and um, spearmen and sword units together. Um, not together, excuse me. And that would mean if they get attacked by cavalry, they can send in the spearmen or whatever. Seeing as we're defending walls, it doesn't matter, and I can't be bothered to be honest. Right, let's just see what happens. It's a good way to start a battle. The trick to this is to stop them from getting in. Because once they're in, they have a large area to attack you with. So, what I try to do is um, fight them where they gain access. I just realised I just screwed these guys up. Right so, if you go down there, it's going to take some time. Uh, I'm going to have to get some They don't really shoot at this range. That's the range where people stand. 
survive. They can go help those. There's quite a lot of soldiers. I often just do this. I just go through. Go at the gate. Go up there. So how many people? Them, them, them. You guys, where are they gonna go? What do you think, Jules? Shall I put them? Shall I leave them there? Actually. Uh, the archers are doing fine. I'm actually going to send the men at arms are better than the swordsmen, by the way. Um, I don't, to me, it sounds worse, but um, I don't know where they're going. Well, I know they're going over there, but I might charge out. I think longbows have extra range most of the time. I oh know it's just a name, but it's not most of the time. Oh yeah, it's siege time, I forgot about that. Let's just select these, deselect him, and just attack him. Group those. I usually group them halfway through. this tower at the back and it is quite a long process but it really does help. Right, as you can see you guys have come along successfully. That way they don't fly the travel up. Speed it up. For some reason all triple games speed up and it goes speed up. 
attacked by spearmen and they're screwed. Which they are, but we're going to attack the horse. do but they're sort of special units I'm not sure because I'm not amazing with firing the game but at the minute I haven't been able to buy any or purchase a building I've not even seen a building that you can buy any of so maybe not oh looks it's looking promising okay it's not looking promising come on run I have told them but they're utterly tired, which I think means they don't run at all, no matter what you tell them to do. Um, I will end it here. Th there we go, there's the first proper battle. Well, I say proper, I mean unfair. Um, the sort of trick to games like this is to make every battle unfair in to your advantage. Which is sort of the idea of the game. That was a um, sea battle. Which crap. <laughs> In the newer games, Shogun 2, you can do sea battles if you want. Which I sometimes bother with, but they can get a bit annoying when they're just running away 
you're chasing them, you're just going at the same speed and they're not routing so they won't run out of the map. Guild of Weapons. Oh. Basically here you can get King's Court, which you can get Settlers, Men at Arms or Spearmen. Uh, which I think I can get already from here because it's, yeah, Men at Arms and Spearmen and that. Which you can already get because it's um, the capital. Uh, terracing, it's about food, but I have plenty of food. And um, so I'm going to go weaponsmith, which gives you upgrades to um, iron weapons, missile weapons. It doesn't give you any uh, extra training options. So I'm, I'm also going to make a ship for that because I have money and they're useful. Ready to sail. So this is Rome to War. Lord of the Rings, the Fourth Age, a Captain. shadow thing. I don't know what it's called, a shadow something. But yeah, this is basically it. This is how you play it. And that's the end of my first episode. So I'll see you in a bit when I've progressed a bit more and have more things to speak about.